each of the two cars is sold at the same price. A profit of 10% on first and a loss of 7% is made on the second. What is the combined loss or gain percentage? So we have to find out the combined loss or gain percentage where profit of 10% is made on one car and loss of 7% is made on the second car. And remember each of these two cars is sold at the same price. So I think that's the important point. Each of the two cars is sold at the same price. So which means what? Selling price of first car is equal to the selling price of the second car. Selling price of first car is equal to selling price of second car. Now what is the selling price of first car? See, profit of 10% is made. Profit of 10% means selling price will be 1.1 times the cost price. Let's assume the cost prices are C1 and C2. First statement is S1 is equal to S2 and we are assuming that the cost prices are C1 and C2 respectively, right? So the first car was sold at 10% profit. 10% profit meaning selling price should be 110% of cost price. 110% of cost price is 1.1 times. You understand? Or to make it even simpler, let's say 110% of C1. What should be S2 selling price of second car? It says loss of 7%. If the loss is 7%, selling price should be how much? 93%, right? 93%, 93% of the cost price, which is C2. So selling price of first car is 110% of the cost price of the first car. Selling price of second car is 93% of the cost price of the second car. And we also know that S1 is equal to S2. What is he asking us to find out? Combined loss or gain percentage. To find out the combined loss or gain percentage, find out the combined cost price and the selling price. Total cost price. What is the total cost price? C1 plus C2. What is the total selling price? S1 plus S2. That's it. Do the calculation after that. Now C1 plus C2. Uh, see, use this equation. I know that S1 is equal to S2. So can I say 110% of C1 is equal to 93% of C2? Yes. Or from this, can we also say that C2 equals to 110 by 93 times C2? C1, sorry. Yeah. Here, can we say C2 equals to 110 by 93 times C1? Simple equation. 110% of C1 equals to 93% of C2. So C2 is 110 by 93 C1. So C1 plus C2, I can say C1 plus 110 by 93 C1, which is like 203 by 93 C1. So the total cost price is 203 by 93 C1. What's the total selling price? S1 plus S2. But we know that S1 is equal to S2. So can this be taken as 2S1? Yes or no? S1 is equal to S2. So S2 is S1. S1 plus S1, 2S1. And again, we know that S1 is equal to 110% of C1. Yeah, 110% of C1. 110% of C1 is like 110 by 100. So 2 into 110 by 100 C1. Or basically 220 by 100 or maybe 120 by 50 or 11 by 5 whichever way 11 by 5 let's say 11 by 5 c1 that's it you know that the total cost price is 203 by 93 c1 the total selling price sorry the total selling price is uh, you know 11 by 5 where is it total selling price is 11 by 5 c1 Right, so both cost price and selling price are known in terms of C1 and C1. Right, both the cost prices and selling price are known in terms of C1 and C1. Now find out the overall profit or loss percentage. So I think one important point that you all need to understand here is we cannot assume that the cost prices are same. If you take the cost price to be same, then you will get a different answer. The question has not mentioned anywhere that the cost price is same. All it says is each of the two cars is sold at the same price. Both the cars were sold at the same price. The selling price is same, not the cost price. That is the reason we are taking C1 and C2. If we take C1 is equal to C2, then it becomes a lot more easier. But that's not given in the question. So be careful, right? So total selling price is known. Total cost price is known. Now find out the profit or loss percentage. So let's say total selling price minus total cost price. By total cost price in 200. Yes or no? You know how to measure this, right? S minus C by C in 200. How do you measure profit percentage? S minus C by C in 200. What is S in our case? S is equal to 203 by 93. I think calculation is going to be a little tedious, but 203 by 93 C1 minus what is C? 11 by 5 C1 divided by what is C? 11 by 5 C1 into 100. Do this calculation. 
So C1 basically is common and gets cancelled. Now only numbers are left out. Play with those numbers and you'll get the answer. I think it is going to be a loss. It will not be a profit because we are getting a negative answer, right? 203 by 93 and 11 by 5. We are getting a negative answer. Or just check if it is really negative or not, yeah? So, so what happens? I think if I have to simplify it, I mean, I'm not writing all the steps. 203 into 5 is 1015 and 11 into 93 is 930 plus uh, 93, right? So 1023, yeah? 930 plus 93, 1023. And this is 1015. So 1015 minus 1023 is minus 8. Minus 8 by 93 into 5 divided by 11 by 5 so 5 and 5 gets cancelled of course in 200 is there so overall it becomes uh, minus 800 i mean options are not there i mean my, my challenge always with uh, these kind of questions is if you are given us the options we can verify it easily right i mean four or five options are there we can apply some elimination technique or something and avoid all this complex calculation now i'm forced to do this entire calculation because options have not been given Right? Otherwise, we can apply some or the other technique and eliminate. Right? You, you cannot really use a smart method unless options are given to you. So, I am just looking at the simplification, right? 1015 and 930, 1023. So, minus 8 upon 93 into 5 divided by 11 by 5. Yeah. So, I think this becomes minus 800 by 93 into 11, which is 1023. So, it is going to be a loss negative sign indicates it's the loss how much loss minus 800 by 1023 so so if i have to do an approximate calculation uh, 800 by 1000 800 by 1000 is like 4 by 5 4 by 5 is 0. 0.8 approximately 0. 0.8 percent loss is my answer why is it loss because we've got a negative sign negative sign means it's a loss and 800, I mean, I mean, i'm doing an approximate calculation right 800 by 1000 is like 4 by 5 4 by 5 or 800 by 1000 is 0. 0.8 of course 0.8 percent loss so what is the combined loss or gain percentage it is 0.8 percentage loss okay sorry it looks like uh, i have made a mistake here the cost i have taken selling i mean cost price in terms in in place of selling price and selling price in place of cost price so i'll, I'll do one thing hold on one second i can i can do the changes sorry this will this will result in a profit and not loss just a second it will be 8 percent 0.8 percent profit sorry about this a simple correction here let's say percentage loss what is percentage loss cost price minus Selling price by cost price into 100. Okay, but the denominator will change. Sorry, I think there is a gross error that I have made. Let me correct the calculation. Sorry about this. The cost price is 203 by 93. And I took the selling price at 203 by 93. Just a second. Let me clear this up and do the solution one second. Yeah, I think these, these kind of silly mistakes have to be avoided in the exam, right? I mean... Otherwise, you end up wasting a lot of time like what I've done here. So, percentage percentage profit is equal to S minus C by C into 100. Yeah. What is S selling price? 11 by 5. 11 by 5 C1 minus 203 by 93 C1 divided by 203 by 93 C1 into 100. Now work on the calculation. So C1 gets cancelled everywhere. Then we have 11 into 93. So same 930 plus uh, 93, right? 1023. And this is 1015. So 8 by 5 into 93 whole divided by 203 by 93 into 100. So this 93 in the denominator get cancelled. And we have, yeah, 93 in the denominator gets cancelled. We have 800 by 1015 yeah so this comes out to be what 800 by 1015 which is approximately 0.8 yeah 800 by 1015 is 0.8 0.8 percentage profit yeah so i think final answer should be 0.8 percentage profit approximately 0.8 percentage profit